Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our Research Day presentation, uh, the year 2020, on the mind of Jeff Bezos. My name is Victoria Vitali, and I'm going to be introducing who Jeff Bezos is as a person and a leader. So, Jeff Bezos was born on January 12th in 1964 in New Mexico, and he was raised by teen parents Ted Jorgensen and Jacqueline Jice. Jeff Bezos is an American entrepreneur, philanthropist, founder and CEO of Amazon, and he also owns the Washington Post, which is a very famous newspaper. His business journey has led him to be the richest man in the world, and his unique leadership styles are very consistent and promising. Trait, behavioral, and situational approaches will all be incorporated since there is no one best style of leadership. The question, is Jeff Bezos successful or not, will finally be answered. So to talk a little bit about the trait approach theory, as we learned about the Myers-Briggs uh, personality assessment, we've come to the conclusion that Jeff has the personality type of an ISFP, which is introverted, sensing, feeling, and perceiving. He's a very relationship-oriented type leader because he likes, uh, he likes to work in groups and teams. He believes in teams. And he, att he attempts to encourage people around him to be more free and open to stimulate new ideas. So he's very open-minded when it comes to hearing suggestions and ideas from his employees, coworkers, and everybody around him. However, his dark trait would have to be narcissism because although he likes working in teams, he likes to micromanage and belittle the people that are underneath him. And he also sometimes lacks empathy. Hello, my name is Anthony Samsell. I'm gonna to talk to you a little about, a bit about Jeff Bezos and the behavioral approach theory. So Jeff Bezos believes in small teams that can grow their skills together. He believes in something known as the two pizza rule. If two pizzas can't feed one team, uh, then the team is too big. Under his leadership, each group has a leader, and the role of that leader is to establish a relationship among the group and foster each other's skills and help them grow. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Christine Van Use, and I'm going to finish off the behavioral approach. Um, Jeff Bezos also puts more emphasis on the people who are working for him more than he does on his company's products, as well as him being labeled as a transactional leader due to his rigorous standards and his task-oriented beliefs. Um, my name is Dylan. I'm going to talk about the situational approach theory in regards to Jeff Bezos. So after, start, after studying um, electrical engineering and computer science, he decided to go ahead and create the innovative website known today as Amazon. Um, Bezos saw the flaw in running his business originally out of his garage, so he decided to you know, take that a step further. So with, with, with Jeff, he doesn't really let his circumstances uh, define what he does. He really likes to push the envelope. And then, you know, it, a lot of that comes with what he does in, 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 in general practice as a, as a leader. Um, you know, and then as Victoria said, he's very team oriented. So he really like takes the time to, to sit down with his team and go over everything. Um, you know, in regards to what the flaws are in his business, you know, how, how they can improve it. And he, you know, a, alongside with that, he, he's very practical in what he does and, and, and he really is trust oriented. So, you know, in, in regards to that, he, he works with you based on, you know, your performance and, your, and how much he trusts with you. Um, and, you know, he survived the dot-com the dot bubble by raising money before the crash and pushed on further by eventually diversifying their selection from... <laughs> those books to almost anything people can imagine uh created products that are relevant to this time so he's really with him he's very uh um uh task oriented and he really and he really cares about what he does and, and, and the people he works with uh, um he really takes the time to you know uh, he does micromanage but at the end of the day he shows results and and that's what it, you know and, and man in business so with the situational approach theory you know he's very task oriented you know uh prescriptive for sure um, and, but he does tend to, you know, face that around relationships that he's had and the encounters he had with his own employees. In conclusion, uh, he's arguably one of the most successful business leaders in, in the 21st century. He's not afraid to try new things and push down. Even if he fails, he's, it's something that, that it just pushes him even further to get better at it. Um, you know, it, it, he created on top of reports of Amazon with no end in sight. Um, he, we do recommend he does treat his, his employees better uh, because he has shown in the past that, it, it, you know, that it affects his business. But at the end of the day, you know, overall, it, it, it pretty much guarantees success working with Jeff Bezos.
Thank you guys so much for listening. Thank you. Thank you.